Today I'm going to show you a simple way to tie a turtle knot. For demonstration purposes I'm going to be using a size 2 PCAS fly and for leader I'm going to be using a 10 pound test high vis chartreuse color monofilament fishing line. To start you simply have to put the leader into the eyes of your fly then put your fly aside. We're not going to need it for the moment. Next, grab the working end and make a simple overhand knot. Like so. Before we continue, I just want to clarify a few things. As we work the knot, the part of the leader that you hold with your right hand is what we call a working end or a tag end. And the part that you hold with your left hand is called the standing end, okay? So as the name suggests, the standing end, we're not going to do much with it. Most of the time, we're going to be working with the working end or the tag end on your right hand. And this knot is quite simple. What you really need to do with your right hand is making two loop, okay? First, big loop, and the second, smaller loop. And each time you make the loop, you want to pinch it or secure it with the thumb and the index fingers of your left hand and the rest is quite simple so let's begin to start tying the knot pick the working ends with your right hand loop it under the standing end and pinch it with your left index fingers and thumb like so okay you can make it a little bit bigger to make it easier to see then to make a smaller second loop you simply grab the tack in for, with your right hand, put it on top of your left thumb, then pinch it once more between your left thumb and index finger. So now you have a bigger loop, which is the first loop that we make, and then the smaller second loop that we make on top, okay, like so. Next, you're going to use the tack in and pass it through both the first big loop and the second small loop and make sure that as you pass your working end you want to see that your um, overhand knot that you tie in the beginning go through both the second and the first loop and then when you start to tie it down you're going to see this a basic slip knot. Before you cinch the knot tight, if you use fluorocarbon line, it is recommended you wet the knot first, right here. And so, you can now pull the knot tight. And what you're really having is a slip knot. Okay, you can make it very small like so, or by pulling, to, um, by pulling onto the working end, you can make it big like so. Now, you just want to make it big enough so that you pass the fly through. Now, we can bring back the fly. And we're going to pass the fly through the loop. And as you pass the fly through the loop, what I like to do is pinching the tag in between my thumbs and index finger and the head of the fly, like so. And this is to protect the soft hackle and make sure that the tag end stay in the right place as you pull the line tight. And as you pull the line tight, you really want to see the noose around the eye of your fly, like so. And you know that you have a good working turtle knot when you flip the fly under and you see that the line comes straight through the eye of your fly. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. Like so. Very straight. And that's going to make sure that your fly fish right in the water. 
before you finish and throw the fly in the water you can just cut the tag end and there you have it a good working turtle knot I'm gonna tie the turtle knot again so you can see in real time how it looks first thread the fly then making an overhand knot then making the first big loop making the second small loop pass the tag end in both the small loop and the big loop wet the knot cinch the knot close then bring the fly back put the fly through the loop at the same time pinching the tag end and the eye of the hook as I fasten the knot go cut the tag end and check that the leader really come straight under the eyes of the hook that looks good enough the main reason I like to use this knot instead of a more popular improved clinch knot is this now I have tied this Undertaker size 2 with a clinch knot just to show you this. This is how the clinch knot works on the Atlantic Salmon Fly. It just moves from side to side and it's also move from up and down. So really not giving you the best presentation it doesn't give you the optimal hook set angle when dealing with such a powerful fish like the Atlantic Salmon and the Steelhead. And you try to do the same thing with the turtle knot however the knot remain in place only the leader move but the knot itself is always in position okay not to mention it come in a straight line with the shank of the hook which is much more secure in my opinion so that is it guys I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial video on how to tie a turtle knot. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.